so uh, problems one and two give you an equation in standard form and uh, might look something like this. Let's see. Let's do 3x plus 4y well, plus 6y equals 12. This looks something like this and it says solve for y. And so uh, this problem kind of talks about what we call slope intercept form. Right, so when you solve for y, you put something into, you put the, the line into slope intercept form. It looks something like this, y is equal to uh, b plus mx, right? So b is the, the y value of the y intercept. Okay, and so what that's gonna look like, it's gonna look like this, right, zero, and then whatever that number is. And then m is what we call the slope. And this is what's being added or subtracted each time. So every time that x goes over by one, uh, let's do some other color. So every time x goes over by one, we're gonna add or subtract m or the slope, and that's what makes a line, okay? And so, so using this example, uh, we're gonna solve for y. We're gonna use opposite operations to do this. Okay, so there are two things that are happening to y. 3x is being added to y, and 6 is multiplying times y. And so we need to do the opposite operations in order to take those terms away from y and, and get it into the slope-intercept form, where there's just one positive y on the left-hand side of the equation. And so what we're going to do is we're just uh, if we're adding 3x, we're going to subtract 3x from both sides. When we do that, this becomes 0, and then 6, y is, 6 times y is equal to 12 minus 3x. And then... We're going to divide each side by 6, and that means, and for our sake, we're going to divide by 6 for each term, right? So that eliminates this first term, so that gives us a y. 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2, and then minus 3 divided by 6 is equal to negative 1 half x. Okay, and so now our equation is in the same form as this other equation. Right, that gives us the slope and the y-intercept. And so we want to find the slope, right? The slope is the number that's with x, right? And so the number that's with x is negative one-half. So the slope, or the m value, is equal to negative one-half. That just means that every time x goes over by one, um, we subtract, um, subtract one-half. And then the y-intercept, right? That's the other number. That's the number that doesn't have an x with it. This is going to be the output when the input is equal to 0. So when the input is equal to 0, the output is 2. Okay. So kind of revisiting this, revisiting this graph, what this graph is going to look like is going to look something like this. All right, so you've got, a, you've got an axis. right? We've got a y-intercept of 0, negative 2. So this might be 1, and this is 0. 2, and then every time the x goes over by 1, so the x value is, oops, this is 2, 1, 2. So every time x goes over by 1, we're going to subtract 1 half. And it's going to go like this, right? So we're going we're gonna to be at 2, 1. Let me make that look a little bit more like it's supposed to. Okay, and this is going to be 1. 1 and 1 half. All right, so every time that x goes over by 1 for this line, we're going to subtract 1 half. Okay? And so by, by solving for y, we put this equation into a, into a form where we can easily find the slope, which is the coefficient of x. So that's the number that's added or subtracted. And we can find the y value of the y-intercept, which is the number that's not with x. Okay, that's where, it's, that's where it starts.